Just taking a look at this little off-grid cabin. It's on my parents' farm just outside of Toowoomba in Queensland. Um, so I'll just show you inside a little bit about what it runs and then show you the solar system that runs it all. So you can see there's like a living kitchen area. Um, nice cozy little bedroom. Yeah, toilet, shower. Um, there's fans in the rooms, both rooms, fireplace over there. Doesn't use any electricity. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, so it's got a three kilowatt inverter. There's three kilowatts of solar on the roof. Over here, you can see the, the shunt, um, the power meter, or battery monitor, whatever they call it, showing you the all the information. So batteries at 100%. This will show you the amps in and out. Um, yeah, so a three kilowatt inverter, it's enough to run. So there's a pressure pump for the water. You've got a microwave kettle, TV. It can't run everything at once, but it can run it's probably uh, sort of two of your main items. So you won't run a pressure pump. Um, and a microwave, say, um, or a pressure pump and the kettle, and your TV and lights, but it couldn't run a microwave, the pump, uh, and the kettle all at once. That'd be just a bit too much load on it. As you can see, the solar is basically running both of these at once. So this would be almost two kilowatts of power, roughly which is pretty decent. So the solar's, um, as you can see, it's zero. If there was no solar at all, it'd be negative, whatever, negative two kilowatts. Um, so yeah, you can sort of see the, it's a great little system for this size of our house and unit. Um, it's got a five kilowatt hour battery, but we'll go out there now and have a look at the power system that runs it. So this is the power board out the back of the house now. There's a gas, uh, hot water system over there, and then it's a pressure pump. Um, so the system overall, there's 3.1 kilowatts of solar on the roof, which is uh, 12, 280 watt panels, I think. Bought them second hand, so saved a bit of money there. It's got, so it's all 24 volt. It's got a five kilowatt hour life point four battery down there. It was custom made from a company called uh, Litec in China. This is the inverter charger, so it's an all-in-one system. It's great, it's worked really, really well so far. I think comparatively, like the Victron have a, um, a, I think a solar or an, a similar all-in-one unit where it's got the inverter, MPPT, and a charger all-in-one. So it just controls all the power in and out. You've got inverter from DC to AC, so battery and the solar both are DC, so they're sending DC power in, and the inverter converts that to AC and sends the AC uh, out into the house to be used. Um, the MPPT side is what controls the solar. So the MPPT pulls DC off the, pulls the power from the solar panels, regulates it, changes it, and sends it uh, down to the battery, or it can be used straight away. The inverter can take it and put it out to the house immediately. Um, yeah, so this thing will control all the power. If your battery needs to be charged, you've got heaps of, it'll start charging your, your battery. If you turn power on in the cabin, um, it'll send that power to to supply the loads in the cabin, like your pressure pump. And if there's excess, it'll keep charging the battery. Um, and then if there's not enough solar, it'll draw off the battery. Like it just works like a heap of like a water with taps turning on and off. Um, yeah, but essentially it'll it'll take it'll always pull as much because it's on a solar priority mode. It'll pull as much solar as it can to power the loads and charge the battery. If there's not enough, then that's when the battery kicks in. Like at night time, it'll be just completely off battery. Um, the third part is you can have a charger, so it can be connected to the grid or a generator. So I don't, I don't think it's certified for connection to grid in Australia, but there's no grid out here and, and they're mostly used in off-grid situations. So it's a, a generator in um, only. Plug your generator in there, and then again, it'll just prioritize the power. It'll use that to either charge your battery, supply power to the, to the house, Normally you'd be plugging it in when there's no solar and you need to charge your battery. So it'll power the house, put the loads, and then secondly, charge your battery. Um, it's very, very customizable. You can customize almost any setting, all the battery settings. You can change you know, how much power you pull off the generator. So this thing charges at 100 amp combined, so it can charge maximum 100 amp, but it can pull 100 amps, 24 volts off your generator, which is two and a half kilowatts, say. 
So if you only got a two kilowatt generator, you can bump that right down so you're only pulling one kilowatt or 1.5, whatever you want. Um, yeah, and there's all different modes. You can prioritize utility, which is generator. You can prioritize battery. There's a heap, uh, there's a heap going on, which is, which is good. Um, over there, that's a switchboard. So it sends power from AC out into there, which has got an RCD and a main switch. Um, and then it goes from there out to the circuit breaker in the cabin. Ah, oh, sorry, the switchboard in the cabin, which has all the other circuits and circuit breakers and spreads all the power out. Um, and it's earthed over there, which is done all by electrician. And then we've got a solar on off over here and then the generator in. So you can just turn your solar on and off from the roof. Down here, that's a DC isolator. So it's got, and fuses, sorry. So the fuses protect the cabling from um, from the battery. And then you can also isolate it so it acts like a switch by pulling that handle down. And over there is a shunt, which is what was um, feeding the information to the, the Victron inside the little power meter. So it's a pretty, um, oh, and then obviously here, yeah, five kilowatt hour battery, uh, life by four, made by Litec. Um, and yeah, it's 200 amp continuous discharge. I think the 300 amp surge, it's a, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it all has been working very well so far. So yeah, that's a system uh, overall and it works great for a cabin sort of this size. Total cost, I mean, I did a little work myself and then, um, use second-hand panels and you know I, work, I get a pair of stuff cheap so all up I think it was maybe around four and a half thousand dollars something like that we put the panels all on ourselves and that so um, yeah it's a great little system and it's more than enough for a small cabin like this overnight we're only getting down to about maximum like sort of 50 percent maybe might get it down to 40 and that's with running lights fans TV boiling the kettle cooking you know microwave all that good stuff so yeah that's a, that's an overview. Let me know if you have any questions. Hope you enjoy it.